smiling. Yeah, you're not smiling. Yeah, my brother, I'm not happy. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. That's what I'm gonna say. I've never seen you this angry. My brother, I'm not happy. I sat in the palace end. Okay, guys. There is no shame losing against Man City. Okay? But the manner of the defeat is what need to be mentioned here. It's happened again. Guess what? Another Chelsea so-called reject. For you bunch out there, specialist, expert, online expert, who always sabotage players, thinking that everything need to happen today, this is your lesson. One more time, Kevin De Bruyne made the difference. He did it many, many times in the past, at the bridge, everywhere, always with screamers to bury Chelsea more and more. This guy is getting his revenge for everything we did to him. And now the revenge is about the Champions League that he didn't finish. Okay, guys, let's just be brutally honest here and say the title is officially over. I don't see Man City <laughs> losing more than three games until the end of the season they have the first team they have the bench can you imagine even ruben diaz was on the bench aki was on the bench jesus was on the bench they don't need anybody it's over today is the day that man city won the premier league 2021 2022 10 things that i've learned and now let me just mention here it took just one moment of brilliance to make the difference. And you know who was the difference for City? Kevin De Bruyne and us. Nobody. We were expecting for Lukaku to do something. But oh my goodness. Lukaku. Okay, 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 guys. This is not the time to just get on people that you don't like. This is what we, we do, and this is exactly what I'm doing right now, right? I look like a hypocrite, but let's be honest here. Somebody need to be blamed, and Lukaku didn't do his job properly today, okay? Because he had chances, clear one-on-ones, that he decided not to score. Also, Hakim Ziyech. I have to be brutally honest. So, number one talking point, it was Pulisic back. It was happy to see him back. Number two, Alonso, yellow card very early on. I think 10th minute completely uh, changed the way he played the rest of the game. Number three, the final third again. I just said it, Lukaku, ZH. You can even put Pulisic. But how much service they got how many how many times Pulisic got into the box? Probably zero. But Lukaku and Ziyech got some great opportunities. One on one, missed it, and then the rebound. Hakim Ziyech decided to sky it. Number four, Kepa Arisabalaga miracle. <laughs> how the hell in the first half he managed to save? that uh, wonderful opportunity from Jack Grealish to keep us in the game. Number five, too short approach in the, pre, in the, first, uh, the first half was so bad. They pushed us like they completely destroyed our plan. It looks like a Thomas Tuchel didn't have any plan B. Instead of playing long, we were trying to match uh, Man City with Tiki Taka. It doesn't work. They are the kings of Tiki Taka. Pass the ball long. Try to play a different kind of football. Give them what they don't wanna have. Put those box, uh, those ball in the boxes and let us fight over there. What Thomas Tuchel did? No, let's keep playing from the back. Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka stupidity. We got dispossessed after five seconds only stupid approach today 
and that was my five talking point for the first half the second half we have again lukaku and zh what opportunities how many opportunities you need okay this is what you got you got your chances you don't score them and then somebody is going to score and then you're gonna lose the freaking game we had few chances and this is the moment that you need your so-called world-class players to show up and score number two Kante energy today was good. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the goal later on. But without Kante in the midfield today, I think it was going to be 6 or 7 0. Number three, Chelsea players are so good to the referee. Yes, you can blame whoever you want. The referee was a piece of garbage. But how many players from Chelsea you saw complaining? or rushing to the referee and telling him to give a yellow card. None. But every time City had, you know, like Chelsea uh, uh, made a foul, it was going to be five, six uh, Man City's players bombing to the referee, demanding for a yellow card. They got, yeah, we got so we get like two yellow cards in a space of 30 minutes with uh, like four fouls but they had like 10 fouls zero yellow card no leadership in the uh in the team aspi is not a talking leadership he will just raise his hand and 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 storm away nobody that's why you need people like declan rice who would just go literally fight with the referee nobody no leadership and then number four no service in the box yeah you can blame lukaku you can blame whoever you want but when you don't put those balls in the box for lukaku to fight there's nothing you can you can blame uh, him about here number five game management thomas tuko got this one completely wrong i said it uh something about not playing long tiki taka all the time the subs, the first subs was like almost 70 minutes. Very wrong sub, you know. Marcos Alonso almost got a freaking red card. Take him off. It's better to finish maybe at 11 against 11 or put somebody who has nothing to lose. Put Saul Niguez there. Do something Alonso doesn't have the pace. And the only way he deals with uh, uh, that uh, lack of pace is just to commit a stupid foul. We were very lucky to finish 11 against 11, but that limited Marcos Alonso to not to do anything for the rest of, uh, of the game because of that yellow card. Very, very lucky. Almost gave penalties away. Another yellow card. I don't know. I don't even want to continue talking about this one. Wrong substitution. The game was crying and begging for Mason Mount energy. What he does, Mason Mount came... To the 80th minute and the freaking subs how are you gonna put somebody like verna i mean yes because of the pace and whatever but we know what verna is gonna do he also had some opportunities but he's gonna shoot straight to the goalkeeper or hit somebody because he doesn't look he always plays blind i'm sick and tired of talking about that verna guy man so it is what it is we lost the game one nil at the end the title is over now it's time to start just thinking about top four or other cups carabao cup fa cup the champions league but hey forget about this title congratulations to man city because today was the day that you won the champions league stay tuned and then join me and farhan in the in the other channel global fans channel for my player ratings and some more video it is what it is